One of the things that I get asked the most often is how to decide where to put things in the frame. I love using composition techniques to help me do this. And when I started planning out my shoots before I walked in, I ended up walking out with better, more cohesive food photos. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I plan a food photography shoot before I walk in. And I've also got a super cool free resource for you. So stick around. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to That Sage, where we talk all about food photography so you can build the meaningful creative career you want. When I started really focusing on improving my food photography, I found myself using composition techniques and I wanted a way to make sure that I could effectively use them in my food images. I found myself mapping things out on paper before I would walk into a shoot to give me an idea of what I was trying to go for. This allowed me to have a bit of a framework before I walked into my shoots and over time, I found myself wanting to add the composition grids that I was using to compose my images in order to help me stage them a bit better when I got on set. This was a really tangible way for me to use these powerful composition techniques in my work for better food images. Now, sketching out my food photos is something I do before pretty much any shoot. It's very rare that I walk into a shoot without at least some form of a plan now. It allows me to really visually prepare for the shoot, giving me a framework for my vision to build on, which makes it much easier for me to set up my props while I'm tethering. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do this too. After all my years of sketching my photos before I would start, I created this free composition planning guide and you can grab your free copy of this by clicking in the link down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. So when it comes to sketching your composition, I want you to remember that this is not about drawing a Picasso style replica of your image before you walk in. So if you're not a drawer, don't panic. This can still really work for you. So here's how the process works. First, you're gonna pick the composition technique that you're gonna use. Now, the grid that I've got for you to download via the link below is the rule of thirds grid, which is a really great starting point when you're just getting started with using composition techniques. Next, you wanna think about what it is you're shooting and what kind of props and plates and trays and all that kind of stuff that you want to use in your shoot. Next, you want to make sure that you're thinking about the composition technique you're using. So with the rule of thirds, you wanna focus on putting your main subjects on those intersections, so where the lines are crossing, and then using the rest of the guide to help you place other props and negative space, leading lines, all that good stuff. Make sure that you're taking into account which camera angle that you're using when you're sketching, as this will change things like the shape that you draw a plate. If you're doing a flat lay, then of course your plate is gonna look round, but if you're doing a 45 degree angle, then it's gonna look more like a little oval because you're looking at it like that. So make sure that you're taking that into account. And then once you've sketched out the main feature points of your composition, think about what other elements you could add. Is there some negative space that you could fill or does it make sense to leave it as negative space? This is a time for you to kind of get an idea of how your image is looking before you walk on set. So you can already be thinking about the shapes you wanna create and things like that. And then lastly, you want to have your sketch on hand while you're shooting. So with the rule of thirds grid, my camera actually has a rule of thirds overlay on it. So I'll just pop that up on the screen while I'm tethering and it allows me to really make sure that I'm putting things in my frame in exactly the same place as my sketch. So let's take a quick look at an example of a shoot that I'm doing with a blueberry cake. Okay, so this is the sketch that I've done for this shoot. I'm planning out two different images. So for the first image, we're going with a 45 degree angle, sort of focusing on the diagonal. So I'm using the intersections of the rule of thirds grid to kind of guide where I'm gonna have that diagonal traveling through. Um, and then in the second image, I'm working with a slightly more straight on angle um, of the cake on a cake stand. And then I've got a couple of other little bits going on. So the kind of things that I focus on putting in a sketch, I mean, you can see straight away, this is definitely not like an artistic perfect sketch. But um, what I do is I just try and map out the main thing. So I know here I've got the cake, I've got one more supporting bowl here, and then I wanna have a cloth here to give a bit of softness. And then likewise here, I've got the main cake on the stand. 
I've got the, the cloth and then two more elements. And what this sketch does is it really helps me to see exactly where I wanna put these supporting elements um, relative to my subject. So I'll also make a note of things like the direction I want the light to come from, maybe which, which background I wanna use. Like I think on this one, I'm gonna use a blue background and then a gray foreground. And then this one, I'm just gonna use the gray. So you can really go as far as you want in terms of how much you plan, but the key things I like to plan are main subject, supporting subject, light and background. So what we're shooting today is a cake with blueberries on the top. So it's a very cool blue tone theme. So I wanted to carry that through with my background as well. So let's hop onto the images and see how these sketches translated into the photos. So in the straight on image, it's well sort of somewhere in between a 45 degree angle and a straight on. You can see how the blue really becomes the focus of this photo. I've kept a side light going on and I've got, I've accentuated the contrast on those blueberries and blackberries, complementing it with a little pale blue cloth and the blue background. And what I've done with the spoon in the back and the little sieve in the front is create sort of a circular leading line that comes around to the main cake. And then if we switch over to the other image, the more diagonal image, then you can see that I've gone with a three quarter backlight. I love backlighting in these kinds of shots, but to make it a sort of three quarter angle backlight, it softens it a little bit and just really helps bring out the texture in the image, giving it a bit more depth and character. So you can see how I've tied these three elements together in the diagonal, keeping the main subject as the focus. All right, so there you have it. That is my super simple technique that I use to sketch my compositions before I walk into a shoot. Don't forget to download your free composition kit below and try this out and let me know in the comments how you get on. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye.